Welcome everybody to this workshop um, where I will be teaching you how to mix your own glazes from scratch and then how to test a base glaze with multiple colorants. So I'll introduce myself quickly. I'm Sue McLeod. <clears throat> um, I have been mixing glazes from scratch and testing and experimenting with glazes extensively since I first learned how at Kootenai School of the Arts in 2009. So I did a two year diploma program there. Um, in first year, we just used the glazes that were in the studio. So we didn't actually mix our own glazes. And then in first semester of second year, we started mixing our own glazes and we tested over a hundred glazes as a group. And then we did a whole bunch of colorant testing. Um, and that is when I fell in love with glazes. Um, and then I've also worked as a ceramic studio technician at Cedar Hill Rec Center in Victoria, BC um, since 2015. So it's my job to mix and maintain 20 large buckets of glaze for our studio users. Um, so that was kind of a dream, a dream job for me when I got it um, to just work full time in a pottery studio behind the scenes, firing kilns, scraping kiln shelves, mixing glazes recycling clay, doing all the like technical stuff that I really enjoy. Uh, so that is about me. So in this class, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about mixing a glaze recipe from scratch. Then we'll take a base glaze and test it with multiple colorants. This is a great way to find new glazes. So when you um, when you have a base glaze, usually when you um, find a glaze recipe that you want to make. Um, it's got like one colorant added, uh, but you can actually remove the colorant and then use that base glaze. So if it's a glossy glaze, you can have a variety of colored glossy glazes, or if it's a matte glaze, you can create a variety of colored matte glazes. Um, and so doing this type of testing is a great way to find new compatible glazes, because when you use glazes with the same base, then um, all the glazes kind of have the same makeup. Um, and they're really compatible with each other. So if you're using them inside and outside of your pots, um, then everything is going to have the same sort of runniness, the same thermal expansion, all that sort of thing. So mixing glazes from scratch. So the basic steps for this process are we need a glaze recipe. We need to batch the recipe out, uh, which means that we take the recipe, which is often written in percentages, um, and we convert it to grams. Then we weigh each material, add it to the bucket um, with water, and then we mix the glaze and sieve it. So those are all the steps um, and everything that I'm going to be teaching you today. And then the second part of this workshop is about how to do a color run. <clears throat> and so I did a color run for this workshop um, where I had to figure out, um, as you may know, when you're mixing glazes, you have to wear a respirator and uh, to protect your lungs from the dust, uh, silica particles. And so I was like, how do I teach a glaze mixing workshop while I'm wearing a respirator? So what I did was I did all of the steps that I'm going to be teaching you and recorded it on video. And so I'll be playing that video for you today without sound. And then I'll just be explaining everything that's going on. So that was my solution to teaching an online glaze mixing workshop. So for the color run, um, well, the color run that I did, I started with a 2000 gram batch of glaze. Um, so I made mixed up the base glaze um, and then I wanted to test it with 10 different colorants. So I mixed up the base glaze, I divided it equally into 10 different containers. And so each container had 200 grams of the base glaze and then I added colorants to each container. Um, and then you mix and sieve each container, fire your test tiles, and you end up with, um, so I did four different clay bodies, and I'll be going over these results with you later, uh, but it just shows you like the rainbow of glazes that you can get. Um, and then you kind of pick your favorites, 
Um, you might like want something a little bit deeper of a color so you could increase the color and percentage or something somewhere in between. Um, so this just gives you an idea of how this base glaze is going to look with all the different colorants. <laughs> 